Director for the Miami Coalition Against Breed Specific Legislation. We fight BSL. Basically, it's an organization that was founded. It's an advocacy group, and we fight breed specific legislation. Uh, we try to save as many pit bulls as we can. Obviously, pit bulls is a generic term, but um, we fight breed specific legislation. We want to remove the ban in Miami-Dade County. Um, how does B BSL work? It doesn't work. That's a problem. Uh, B BSL was uh, here in Miami-Dade County in 1989, and since 1989, pit bulls have been illegal and they've been killed. So uh, August 14th is on the vote, and we will remove BSL. August 14th, they got to vote. Yes, a number 500. Get that right? All right. Um, who kills pit bulls? Miami-Dade Miami, Miami Animal Services, because that's what they have to do, because it's a law. It's still a law in Miami-Dade County. They're illegal here. Joy Gersey made the law. Where is he now? Fugitive in Australia. <laughs> how, how can people find your guys and how can people donate? They can go to our website, unitedagainstbsl.org, and you can go on PayPal there on our website and give us as much money as you can. Thank you. Yes, today. Um, what's, your, what's your name? My name is Trinity, and I'm with Big Hearts for Big Dogs Rescue. How, how does Big Hearts for Big Dogs Rescue work? Well, we only rescue large breed dogs, so big dogs like pit bulls or American bulldogs, because in the shelter, the little dogs get adopted first, and a lot of times the big dogs don't get adopted at all. So that's why we say that we are big hearts for big dogs. So like this dog right here, this is DJ. He was rescued from the shelter here in Miami, and now he's in a foster home where he gets trained to be a good dog, he learns to walk and sit and where to go potty and jump around like a crazy bean. And then we help find him a perfect new home. So how does a pit bull the, um, law work? Well, in Miami, you're not allowed to have a pit bull. Um, they've been banned for over 20 years, but in two weeks, they're gonna have a very, very important vote where the people in Miami can vote for pit bulls to be legal again. So I don't live in Miami. I live in a different county, so when we save pit bulls from Miami, we have to move them to my county because they're not legal here, which isn't very fair. But how did the um, pit bull um, law start? Um, it started because a woman was attacked by a dog that they thought was a pit bull, but they're not even sure now that it was a pit bull, but because of that one attack, they made it so all pit bulls were illegal which isn't very fair, right? If the kids were at school and got in a fight and one kid was bad, all the kids shouldn't get in trouble, right? How can people donate Big Hearts for Big Dogs Rescue? Well, we have a website. It's www.bigheartsbigdogs.com. And on there, you can donate. You can set up for monthly donations for a specific dog. You can um, order T-shirts or bumper stickers. Hey, hey, hi. <laughs> you can do all kinds of stuff. You can see all the dogs we have for adoption. Um, we have a wish list of things we need for the dogs, like dog food or toys or treats that you can order right on the website. What's the website again? It's www.bigheartsbigdogs.com. Everybody, let's help change the law in August. Yeah, yeah! Hey, welcome everybody in Miami. This is Shorty Rossi from Pit Boss, out here sporting the pit bull breed. Everybody keep on listening to Little Bit Sports, okay? See y'all later. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm Ron. And Gino, we're at the Pit Bull Barbecue.
Number two. Hint 